Today, we are checking out the Kakadu shower system. These have been produced for the Australian market for years, but it's just landed in the USA, and it's a solution that many of us have been looking for. Let's dive into Kakadu's compact, true hot shower system and see what sets it aside from everything else that we've seen before. Hey guys, Tyler with Independence Overland. So I am standing out in the rain, or at least under the awning in the rain right now. It's the beginning of August, but this is Colorado and I'm at 11,600 feet. I've got camp set up here and uh, I came out here partially this weekend because I wanted to review the Kakadu shower. I'm so excited about this thing. Part of the reason that I was so excited about this shower is we were in the middle of a two week trip, which that trip video will probably be up in the next couple months. Natalia has such long thick hair that the geyser shower just was not doing it. It wasn't working. Um, so it was a struggle for her and because i plan on getting a bigger vehicle soon i'd already been looking at different types of shower systems and uh anyway kakadu is exactly exactly what i've been looking for this is such a cool setup um so let's get into this thing now first and foremost this bag does not come with the shower but it is an option they sent me one in my kit and so um it is a pretty cool bag though it does make it bulkier because the bag is it's kind of like a cooler and I would argue that you could actually use this as a cooler in a pinch if you needed to, like for some reason your fridge or something stopped working. So this is the Kakadu shower. Obviously I already have my propane tank installed on mine, but as you can see, the coolest thing about the shower is that it is so small. Honestly, this is about the same size as the geyser. It's just in a different layout. If you turn it like this, it's about the same size. Let's just set this thing up somewhere. If I can find a spot for it. This thing is just absolutely incredible because of its form factor. What I like the most about this thing is the heat doesn't come straight out of the top. It does come out of the side, so you don't wanna keep anything right next to this. You don't wanna mount this in a tight space. It needs to breathe, but it's got some pretty brilliant features. So it's been windy where I'm at because again, I'm at 11,600 feet. So anytime air moves through these baffles, it automatically tilts and blocks the wind. What that does is if the wind's coming from this direction, it'll block it, but it still can vent and breathe over here. And so that'll help keep the fire going so you don't have any problems. Part of the thing that attracted me to this as well is that this green bottle here will last for four hours. If it's a full bottle, four hours of hot water, which is absolutely insane. The other thing that is super cool about this is this has a battery built into it, a lithium battery built into it. And it will run, according to the instruction manual, it'll run the shower for about 45 minutes without being plugged in. So if you don't even have a portable uh, shower tent or something like that, and you're just one of the people that goes down right next to the water and just does your thing, you can do it with this because you don't need a battery system. It ignites itself off of the built-in battery. The water pump works off of the built-in battery. And if the built-in battery is dead, you just plug it in and no problem at all. So in that situation, you do need to have a portable battery or plug it into your vehicle into a 12 volt socket. Now, one thing that I will say is Kakadu partially sent this to me because they know that I'm a Colorado resident. They can't really test them this high in Australia just because they don't have the mountain ranges to do it. So they're relying on us to give them some feedback on these things. And uh, we'll check that out in a minute because I have no idea if this is actually gonna work this high. So another thing that's really cool about the shower is it tells you both the inlet and the outlet water temperatures, which is pretty cool. So this will heat water to, I believe it's 50 degrees above what the incoming water is. So if you're in a situation where you're camping and you're uh, like Colorado is a good example, there's plenty of places that are like this and all of the river or stream runoff is literally snow melt. So if you are in a situation where uh, you're running very cold water through this, say 40 degrees, 50 degrees, something like that, uh, what I would suggest is just let the shower head run through that bucket one more time and it'll just warm your water up and then you can get it to whatever temperature you want. So you do have a dial in the front here to where you can control what temperature is coming out. Of course, that's gonna vary depending on the inlet water. So uh, you're gonna have to make adjustments anytime you're using this. If you're in a state where the water's always a certain temperature, maybe you can get away with keeping this steady. But for me here in Colorado, I'm gonna be using it with all sorts of uh, incoming water temperatures. In a situation that I have a five gallon jerry can like what I have over here of water, then um, 
that's a little more predictable, but for the most part, it's awesome that you can adjust this. Now, this will not let the water get above 125 degrees, which I think is plenty hot, and that's what they're saying is scalding. You know, we all want that hot water when we need it, because for cleaning dishes and stuff like that, it is nice to have that extra hot water. And so, uh, this shower is going to answer that call. So let's dive into how this works. This is the water outlet. So it's just a quick connect. You pull back on these little levers. I'm sure they got to wear in a little bit. They are plastic, which I'm personally okay with. The plastic bits will be a little more breakable than something like metal, but myself, I would prefer it because plastic is plenty strong for most situations. And um, honestly, it's gonna make it lighter weight because for this kind of travel, we don't want things to weigh a ton. I believe this shower weighs about 15 pounds, by the way, as a whole. So that's it. And then you have your little plug here that plugs into the built-in battery. And so this is your water pump. So it's as simple as that. So now all I need to do is drop this into water and it's gonna work. So I'll say real quick that this will not fit into a jerry can, unfortunately. Maybe the scepter style cans that have the giant opening and you need like a tool to open them, this will probably work with that but as far as um, just a regular Jerry, it won't. I do think it would be cool to see if Kakadu could come up with some sort of an adapter for this to where it somehow cinches around this and then it has like a small hose to where you could put it in something like an inline system if you have a water tank on your vehicle or maybe your van or something like that, or you could put it into a jerry can because like my particular jerry can it won't work with, so I have to carry a bucket. Now in most situations, because the FJ doesn't have a lot of room for water, I'm going to be using a bucket. Inside of the storage bag, I had enough room to store the shower, the hoses, and this bucket. So this is just a portable bucket that I've used with my other shower system in the past. And uh, they're cheap, I think this is $20, and so I'll link this below. So it'll go from this size to the next size up. So I'll fill this with water real quick and I'll show you what this thing can do. So this thing is as simple as pressing the power button. It lights right up and then you hit start. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I have this set up right. I have it set to off, so I'm gonna turn it on. It's working, heat's on at 11,600 feet. That is very promising. Water's hot, what do I got this set at? So it's telling me that the output water right now is 96, it's increasing slowly and I do have this set relatively low. You can hear the burner still going, no problem. So it's actually working very well. Because part of the problem with the other types of shower systems like this is they won't ignite at high elevations. And this doesn't seem to have a problem with this at all. It lit very quickly. It wasn't, it didn't stutter at all. The shower head has several different modes of how it dispenses water. On my Conqueror camper, I had something that was similar to like a Julka or a Camp Lux, that kind of a shower. And part of the problem was whenever you would turn the shower head off, it didn't have a smart system like this. This understands that the water's off and it turned the burner off. And what seemed to happen with those other camp showers was that you'd get a slow burst of scalding hot water because it overheated itself. So let's see how this does. Let right back up again, no problem. So it's actually a little bit cooler for a second, which I have no problem with. I'd rather it dip down maybe five, 10 degrees than uh, burn me when I'm trying to take a shower. See it steaming? I keep trying to do the scalding test, but my, my water's already so warm. So again, let's shut this off for a second. Steaming hot water. And so what you're noticing, I'm sure, is that it's not super high pressured, which is good if you ask me. Because like I have a shower system I built under the hood of the FJ as I did a video on, I'll share that right here. But the problem with that system is while it works pretty good, again, you get scalding hot water, but it uses so much water that your water doesn't last very long. So that's a problem. Yes, you have pressure, that's great, but you really don't need it out here because you're just gonna go in, soap up, rinse off, and you're good to go. All right, so let's see. We're gonna check one more time, see if it's scalding. Yeah, it heated up significantly. So there was a short, very short burst of really hot water. But I'm also right next to it. When you're actually showering, it's gonna be farther away like that, so it actually gives the, the water a little bit of time to cool off. But as you saw, I didn't have to move my hand. It wasn't so hot that it burned me. What's so cool about this thing is I can carry this anywhere. I can take this 
carry it away from camp and use it. This has the built-in pump, a built-in battery. It, it really heats to the optimum temperature. The built-in baffle works very well, as I've been noticing as I've been recording this video. And the fact that you get four hours of runtime out of, I mean, that means that this little tank will last multiple trips for at least the way I travel. Even if me and Natalia were both to take a shower, I mean, it's still gonna last multiple trips. If I hook it up to my big tank, because you can just use an adapter, I mean, at that point, I probably have close to 20 hours of shower time. Is that right? Yeah. So that's crazy. I gotta be honest, what I was expecting on this review was uh, I was intentionally coming up into the high elevations and I was expecting that it would work, but that it would struggle like the other ones have that I've had in the past because they really do. I mean, even like a, a buddy heater from Coleman, like, you know, the ones you find everywhere that everybody has, they don't work very well at high elevations like this. So the fact that this is igniting, um, I don't know how they built the system, uh, but it's working extremely well this high up. And there's a good chance that this year I will be going even higher than this for a camping trip. And so I'm taking this along. So the pump has like a four or five foot hose and uh, you, get, you do have to plug it in because of course it needs power. And then this side has like an eight foot hose, I believe this is. And so you can reach this to the top of your shower. I'm gonna do like a Velcro system on the top of my shower tent to where this can actually just stay there. Cause this is very convenient being able to just turn this on and off real easy. That mean that will help save a lot of water. It's nice that they put different spray patterns onto the head of this thing. Different uses are gonna come from this. You can wash the dog with this. You can wash dishes with this. And uh, this is a really cool uh, design. I forgot to go over the power cable. This thing looks like it's probably 15 feet long or something. So even if you have your shower tent away from camp, you plug it into 12 volt. And like I said, the shower will run off of just this if the battery's dead and then you can just leave it and it'll charge itself back up. This thing is $499, so it is expensive at 500 bucks. The, uh, the bag, if you want the bag, that is gonna be an extra $50, and I don't know that you actually need it or not. They sent me it, so of course I'm gonna use it, and uh, it seems to hold everything and hold everything well, so I'm not mad about having it. I'm, I'm uh, grateful to have it, and it seems to protect it, because usually by the time I do the review, even if I've owned things for a day or two, it's all scratched up and beat up, so it's kinda nice that the equipment is looking a little bit better than it does, because I'm pretty hard on stuff. So my final thoughts about the Kakadu shower. I absolutely love it. It's fast, it's easy, it's hot. And while I don't have any actual gripes against the product itself, I do think that it'd be cool to see an inline pump offered in the future for those of us who use smaller jerrys with smaller openings, Dometic's new water systems, or even an Alucab canopy camper type of system with a gravity fed outlet. This is certainly not a deal breaker as here in Colorado, I have plenty of streams to choose from, but in desert climates, it would be nice to keep the water from getting contaminated with dirt and sand. Next is price. At 500 bucks at the time of this recording, it's one of the most expensive systems on the market. But it's also the smallest true shower that I've come across and the most convenient propane unit by a long shot. No stands, no hanging, just simple to use and ready to go. Convenience is worth it to some, but of course not to everyone, and that decision is for you to make. Kakadu has built a brilliant compact system for overlanders and off-road ventures alike. With its low flow rates, it's just enough to be a real shower, but not overly wasteful of your precious water. This shower will absolutely be part of my kit on extended trips. With a three-year warranty, a compact size, and a built-in rechargeable lithium battery to run its own pump system, this awesome piece of kit is approved by both myself and more importantly, my commander-in-chief. If you're interested in checking out the Kakadu for yourself, check out the links in the description box below. As always, thank you so much for watching and feel free to check out my other adventure, off-road, and overland-related content.